Well, okay. This is just another day in Drake's lair. Well, ish. Tweaks. Stuff. Junk on the side. Whatever. Um, update the blog, I guess, last week of July. Not from the office. I meant to do it last week. Uh, this will be uploaded to both Rumble and YouTube. I got a decent audience in YouTube, but Rumble, you could actually monetize, which puts me to think I may not want to do YouTube anymore. I actually kind of want to do Rumble and maybe do tutorials in there on there because if you can monetize it, that's more interesting to me. So, yes, a couple of life updates. Number one, there's some toys I want to launch, but I don't know if I should because I'm um, looking at the economy structure right now, and recreational expense is not the biggest one on everyone's mind, but for the fandom it seems to be, so leave it be. Um, I got a few offers on some toys I got that may be even worth selling. Anything over $1,000 is technically worth selling, but I really don't want to sell it. Because it's a dragon, and I love dragons. Inflatable dragons are one of the many few things I can actually hold on to because it doesn't take up any space when they're in storage. Unlike statues, I've got one over here that still needs repair. I'm not getting any help from, uh, what's his name? I'm probably going to take it back and just sell it off or whatever I could sell it off for. Someone can come by and pick it up for 100 bucks. That's 100 bucks in my wallet to cover for gas expense. Oh, my gas is extremely high now, and uh, not having a reversing gear, I think, bypasses the second gear. Crazy Joe says that if the reverse gear doesn't work, chances are your fluid level is low. I says, well, the computer's got a sensor on it, so it's not low, and I had the mechanic look at it, two different mechanics. One of them, mine, says it's the reversing solenoid. My friend that's a mechanic says they make those things like shit. Um, and the, according to the dealer, which is under warranty, at least until I think I drive another couple hundred thousand miles, um, from what I understand from my dealer, because I drive about a hundred miles a day, give or take or so, from the dealer, I understand he's, uh, it's, uh, they sent a mechanic to look at it one day and I got the car back. Um, but yeah, they told me that's the same. They more than likely, or at least with their diagnostic says, it's you got to rebuild the transmission or replace the transmission. Replacing the transmission is probably the most expensive, but I don't care which way to do it because, according to my mechanic friends, um, it's actually pretty. It's a well-known issue. So, seeing the fact that I have at least a three-week waiting period which could end up being three months i haven't heard anything back from the dealer because i'm on week two to week three now since i started this debacle um early january to be exact i think i came back from joe's place on before fourth first of july so one two i'm actually hitting almost three weeks now so We'll see at the end of the month if we can bring it back in, and I'll probably be without a car for a few days as they rebuild the transmission. Rebuild it, refluid it, all the usual to get to that one little solenoid that's inside the transmission. And according to my friend's service manual, you literally have to take all the gears out to get to the second gear, I think. I don't know how bad it is really at that point, but I do know it's a solenoid inside that I don't even know why something like this is not built hardened but it could be just the engineering design of today but i think it shares the same second gear and this is where my fuel economy is really sucking um the local gas pump has actually locked my card i have to sign off on every transfer i've been blowing through 40 bucks every three days now give or take uh, my car is supposed to be getting an average at least on the freeway of 30 miles per gallon worst case scenario 24. i don't think the computer is reporting it correctly so i may do a reset tonight when i drive out just to see oh a couple of other things so i got a new toy squeaky dinosaur Let's see if you can see him on that side of me he's over there little squeaky uh, dino head popping out it's cute cute but 
that's another vlog update for January.